Hello Techies! Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with Get All Excel Worksheets. First of all, we will see what is the purpose of this Get All Excel Worksheet action. By using this action, we can retrieve all the worksheet names of a particular Excel document. Let me show you a small scenario over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an Excel with the worksheets as employee info, HR process, employee details. Now I want to get all the names of the worksheets which are there available in the particular Excel. How can I go ahead and do that by using Power Automate? Now in that case, we are going to use get all Excel worksheet action. Let me drag and drop this get all Excel worksheet action onto the workspace. Over here, if you see over here, it is asking for Excel instance, which instance we have used launch Excel for that launch Excel. We have created a flow variable with the name of Excel instance, the same Excel instance. We are going to use it over here. And after that, by using this action, we are going to retrieve all the worksheet names and we are going to store in the flow variable that is sheet names. All right. And then I'm going to click on save. Now to know what are the sheets worksheets names that are available in the particular variable now what i'm going to do i'm going to use for each loop action let me drag and drop this for each loop action onto the workspace now i'm going to use value to iterate what is the value that i want to know the names of the worksheets where i will get it in the sheet names let's click on that and what it will do it will be stored each and every iteration the value will be stored in the current item I will make it as current sheet over here and then click on save. Now to display the name of the sheet, I will use display message inside the for each loop. And then I'm going to give the title as Excel action. And after that message to display, what is the message to display the current sheet name? All right, let me select that current sheet over here. And then I'm going to click save. Now what it will do, what are the launch Excel instance that we have? We have taken the path in that Excel by using get all Excel worksheets. It retrieved all the worksheet names and then one by one, it will display the name of the worksheet in the display message. All right. Now, if you, you may ask, what is the purpose of these names? If you see, while we are going to use set active Excel worksheet, what we have done, we have used index as well as the name. At that time, if you want to give the name over there, if you don't know, in that case, we'll retrieve all the values and then based on our requirement, we'll go ahead and we can set the value of the worksheet. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output. What are the worksheets are available in the particular Excel? Let's run the flow. Flow execution started and you can see first one employee info after that HR process. And after that, finally, we have employee details. These are the three worksheet names that what we have. Let me show you that. And you can see over here, employee info, HR process, employee details. These three worksheets are available in the particular Excel. And we have achieved the same by using get all Excel worksheets action. I hope you understand how to work with get all Excel worksheet Excel action as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.